Have you ever wondered about the intricate dance between electric charges and the curvature of space? What if the nature of an electric charge could be understood as a byproduct of space curvature, or perhaps vice versa? These are the questions that physicists have been grappling with for decades. Today, we'll delve into the complex concepts of electric charge and space curvature and compare them to the framework of the McGinty equation, or MEQ for short. Now, let's first look at the similarities between these two frameworks. Both of them strive to integrate different physics principles. The MEQ brings together concepts from quantum field theory, fractal analysis, and gravitational effects. On the other hand, the framework connecting electric charge and space dilation and contraction aims to unify these seemingly disparate phenomena. In both cases, there's a clear attempt to bridge the gap between the cosmic and the quantum. The MEQ dives deep into the quantum behavior of chemical systems and how gravity can influence these systems. Meanwhile, the framework that connects electric charge and space curvature extends Einstein's field equation to make it relevant to the world of elementary particles. Gravity, as it turns out, plays a pivotal role in both frameworks. In MEQ, gravity is considered as a perturbative effect on quantum fields. The charge space framework, however, explores the curving effects of charge and draws parallels with gravitational forces. But despite these similarities, there are also stark differences between the two frameworks. For instance, the MEQ primarily aims to understand the behavior of chemical systems. It introduces quantum mechanics, fractal characteristics, and gravitational influence to achieve this. In contrast, the framework that links electric charge and space curvature focuses more on the nature of electric charge as a spatial phenomenon. The mathematical approach in each framework also differs. The MEQ relies on integral calculus, Laplace transform, and the convolution theorem to derive fractal correction terms. The charge space framework, however, employs topological concepts and a novel extension of Einstein's field equation. Finally, the conceptual bases of the two frameworks are quite different. While the MEQ includes special relativity in its foundation, the charge space framework presents a new perspective. It links electric charges to electrical black and white holes offering a fresh interpretation of quarks and leptons. To sum up, both frameworks share a common ambition to bridge disparate areas of physics. However, they differ in their primary focus, mathematical methodologies, and conceptual bases. The MEQ seeks a comprehensive understanding of chemicals and quantum systems, while the electric charge space curvature framework offers an innovative perspective on the nature of electric charge and its relation to both macroscopic and microscopic physics. So, the next time you marvel at the night sky, or wonder about the nature of electric charge, remember that there are complex and fascinating frameworks at play, each trying to unravel the mysteries of the universe in its own unique way.